What up, Cub? What up, what up? In today's video, we're going to cover the struggles of the creation process, how to begin brainstorming, planning, recognizing the issues. But before we begin, can we please take the time to like, share, comment, and subscribe? Take a virtual visit on the website. Check out the new merch. Well, it's not so much new anymore, but it's still cool. I think it's timeless, so it's always new. All right. Having said that, let's move on. Okay, so three basic steps that I've kind of condensed um, through all my experience, time, learning, listening, researching, observing, all those put into one. So recognizing that there's an obstacle to be achieved, to overcome, not necessarily a problem because you know we're creating art, so it's just an obstacle, something... Like getting in the gallery, it's, it's not an op it's not a problem, it's not an obstacle, it's just something we want to do as artists, we want to create. I, I think that's a good vocab term for it, an obstacle, right? So we're going to overcome this obstacle. We have to acknowledge that there's something in the way, whether it be time, whether it be time, right, time constraint, uh, logistical constraint, and or a personal constraint, whether it be doubt, uh, stage fright, wherever you're presenting. So all these things are going to take, you have to take into consideration because the end result is going to suffer from it, right? So if you don't acknowledge what's up ahead, fore foresight, right? Trying to, trying to see ahead, have some sort of foresight to your finished product. Okay, so second uh, rule, second step, second stage would be planning. Logistics, time, preparing your material. Uh, I can't think of another one off the top of my head, but planning is preparing. Uh, prepare for good performance, right? Yeah, that sounded good. Okay, we'll stick with that. So prepare for good performance. And then... You should be good. Time, logistics, and your materials. Moving on, let's go to actually starting, right? How do we start? What are we going to make? I've seen a couple things, and this is with sketches, drawings. So sketches can be moved into sculptures. So let's stick to sketches and drawings, right? On the canvas, on paper, we use mark making just lines, you know, scribbly lines, or, you know, you kind of just stab the piece of paper a couple times, just throwing some marks on there and then erasing and eventually starting your drawing. I've seen that. I've seen value. You either just blur out, throw charcoal on there, like just smudges, right? And then they start removing. So that's negative value, removing value to get shapes in there. And then eventually you get your finished product. So that's another way to start the drawing. Not, you don't necessarily know what you're going to do, but eventually something comes out. And my favorite would be thumbnail sketches. I draw three by three inch thumbnail sketches of one subject that I want to accomplish. And that is using like six different three by three thumbnails. I don't take too much time into them. I want to get the most rough, basic lines and then transcribe that or move that over to a bigger drawing that I have room to actually work in. Or if you want to work really small, you can, you know, start whatever you want, but you know, I probably should try that. That'd be pretty cool. Start drawing kind of small. All right. So moving on. Okay. So that's brainstorming. How do you get your drawing going? Right. Some, sometimes you don't know what to draw. Some, it's great when you have a subject already pre-planned. Pre like, hey, can you do a portrait of me? Can you so things like that? And let's let me give you an example of some of the work that I've done from last week. Right. So this is moving on from last week. I took a couple notes on there for you. Right. Got placement, proportion, line work, polygonal shapes, shading, 
value tone and then keep them sharp keep them light don't make your lines too dark unless you need to once you already know okay so this is a sketch that's ready to move on to a canvas for painting i don't want to take too much time to create more depth create more value now that i know that the, the proportions are correct the lines are that i need that are essential can be moved on to the canvas to make that person look like that person so I've memorized those lines through working, through memorizing, through learning, through drawing, right? Because I'm telling you, man, these drawings teach you as you work. It's crazy. So you always learn something when you're drawing. It's pretty cool. All right. Having said that, that's where we are. Uh, take the time to look at the other video to see the progress, right? So I showed you the first erasing step on that drawing so i got it to a, a point where it needed to be erased and then i, I did it like four from four or five more times and that's the finished sketch so in order to bring that drawing to a lifelike picture it's going to require like 40 hours plus right and then on the painting i I'd never i don't really do lifelike paintings which i think would be a good challenge one day once i have time hopefully this takes off and i have all kinds of time to draw but okay and then that back back that uh, gypsy danger back here i'll get some more attention make it look a little bit better but that being said i think paintings are never done for artists and i hope y'all learned a little something something on how to start how to begin how to get the creative process going right um thank you for your time as always take the time to like share comment subscribe take a virtual visit to the website check out the merch goodbye ciao